and make it rain. Hashtag make it rain. Hey guys, and welcome to my channel. Today we are doing another episode of Get Famous. So we have uh, Nikki here. She's just kind of practicing some acting. Uh, she did complete the other level of her aspiration last time. Um, all she had to do was then uh, perform, do a street performance. That's what it was. So I think it's about time that we get her another gig. Um, it's pretty much just the next day. Just had him play through a little bit. Oh, and maybe we should actually have these people get the mail too. That's probably a good idea. Oh no. Um, let's see. Uh, she has preclinical pharmaceuticals, volatilis hardware. Wild Flames, Making Music, and uh, Salty Suds Commercial. I think maybe we should try for Wild Flames. She just really needs to get her comedy level up. So she probably should um, probably should have them both go to the library, and then she can actually write some uh, comedy skits. She's collected everything from the mailbox. Can she release this yet? Yes, she can. Alright, so I think we're going to have them... Seriously, you had to walk in on your sister. She's taking a shower. How did you not know your sister was taking a shower? Sit here. Get out of the way until your sister's out of the shower. Okay. Saying nothing was released. Alright, let's go ahead and we're going to put this right up here with everything else. And... She's super embarrassed. Okay, we'll go use the toilet. When is her audition? Her audition is 12 noon on Sunday. So she just needs to finish her writing skill. Why don't we have you discuss uh, the outfit with her one more time? This way that'll actually be completed. And then we're going to send them... Yep, we're going to go straight to the library. Um, it would be kind of nice. Um, I probably should do a build for a get famous library type thing. Um, maybe it can take over where the park is. I don't think we've ever been to the park. Um, maybe we'll do that once they get back from the library. Um, who else has a library? Um, no, not Magnolia Promenade. I know that one doesn't. What about the Windenburg? Windenburg, I think, does. Maybe they're like, oh, Windenburg's a little closer. Oh, and Windenburg has a library, so why don't we go there? Uh, we're going to travel with Nikki. Because Nikki needs to work on her comedy skill now. I mean, since she's going to be... Uh, doing the Wild Flames TV show. Perfect. Alright, now that you both are here, let's go look for um, a, co a computer. Oh, there is one right here, so you can practice your writing. Um, is there another computer upstairs? Because it looks like both of them will be taken up. There is another one upstairs, but freaking Mortimer Goth is on it. There's not another one, like seriously. Maybe would they like the Willow Creek one better? Cause they're like, oh well, there's four of them. Oh, you're off the computer. Perfect. We need to have you write jokes. So her writing skills coming right along. She's level two. She just needs to get to level three. And then once they're done here, I think we'll go We'll go take a trip to that park and see what that park is like. And if it's worth keeping, we'll keep it. But if not, we'll just kind of demolish it and put up a library there in town. Or maybe we could even convert the gym into like a, a library slash gym slash spa slash everything. Hey, she's coming along pretty good, though, for her comedy skill. Like, I know she needs to hit level 3. She's already at level 1. So she just needs to... Once she's essentially able to complete this set, then she'll actually be pretty good. She's coming right along. She has level uh, 2 charisma now, so we just need to work on that a little bit more for the um, thing. Oh, is that a tablet? Huh. Oh, speaking of what she should have, she should have a tablet in her pocket. Hold on. Or is it down in here? Oh. 
I guess we'll just have to check once we get home because I totally forgot about the uh, tablet that she gets. She has reached level 3 of the writing skill. She can now write short stories and write excuse notes for other sims. She can also read nonfiction books for reference and discuss favorite book or author with sims. Nikki can now tell knock knock jokes to other sims. Perfect. Maybe we'll actually have her work on her comedy skill like in person. Why don't you do a cheerful introduction to this kid? And one to this uh, librarian. And then you can tell jokes. Why don't you be funny? Do a knock knock joke. Tell a funny story. Oh, perfect. We know her. Because I'm going to say this is going to get really weird if all we're doing is telling a, a kid a bunch of jokes. Anything else we can do? Uh, do a knock knock joke to her. Do an impression. Oh, and her cue is full. She's just working hard towards that writing skill. What are you doing? Or are you just... Oh, she's got writer's block now. Okay, well, why don't we have you play a game? Why don't you play Blick Block? Go play Blick Block. You'll have a good time. Why did you move to that chair? All right, so she is playful currently. Do an impression. Um, tell a funny story. Impishly pester. Flash the crazy eyes. She's at 68%, so she's actually doing pretty good. How's she coming along? Oh, good. Her fun is all the way back up. How's her writing? Oh, her writing is at 24%. That kind of sucks. Uh, but she's at 29% of the media production. And media production is only a five skill level um, skill. <laughs> a five level skill. That's what I meant to say. Uh, tell a knock-knock joke. Um, tell a joke about engineers. Impishly pester. Wait, no. That's a mean interaction. No, don't do that. Don't do that. Flash crazy eyes. What else can we do? Mm, tell an outrageous story. Do another impression. Just keep doing all these things. Tell a funny story. What else? Oh, slap them silly. Oh, that's seen as a mischief one. No, we're not doing mischief interactions. We are doing funty, funny interaction. Funty? Yeah, that's a great one. No, don't give a funny gift. That means you actually have to give her something. Where are they? Funny, knock knock joke. Ooh, this is actually pretty cool. If you hold shift down, like I heard this in another video, but I'm, I wasn't sure if it actually worked. In fact, at the time, when they tried it, it didn't work. Although they said it used to work, so I was like, you know what, I'll try it anyway. If you hold down shift when you click on another sim, it automatically brings up all the emotions. This way you don't have to click on the sim, click more choices, then go into it. I mean, it's only saving you one click, but that's a lot of time. Alright, how's she doing? Not so good. She's working on her video game skill, though. Oh, and her writer's block has gone away. Right? Practice writing. She's on a roll. And funny conversation. No, don't give a funny gift. Why do I keep selecting that option? Like, that's not a true option. That's never going to be an option for them. Sweet! She's now level 4 of the comedy skill. Like, how lucky can we get? Oh, she fell asleep in the chair. That's right, because she's lazy. So she can nap anywhere. 
All right. So she's pretty much looking at her sister going, um, it's two o'clock in the morning. I think it's time for us to head home. Um, but let's stop by the park on the way home. This way we can still check it out and see what it's like. Because I literally do not think I've even visited there with any of my sims. Even on uh, Twitch, I don't think I have. So let's go and check it out. Oh, it's just like a really cute tiny park. It's not really anything. <laughs> I think this might be a perfect location for a library. I mean, we could still keep some of this stuff. We definitely could. Um, but yeah, this isn't really worth it. Okay, you go ahead and go home because Nikki apparently feels a need to uh, cook. We're going to put that in her inventory. This way we can take that home with us. And then we'll have her go ahead and head home. Okay, you can keep that too. You don't have to leave your dishes. All right, let's head home. Yeah, that was kind of a little bit of a pathetic park. Why do I still get random toddlers just showing up on our porch? Like, that's getting kind of weird. Do that. Go ahead and finish eating that. Sister, you need to go to the bathroom. And she actually needs to eat something. But she's probably going to be too tired. She'll probably fall asleep eating it or whatever. So we'll set, send her straight to bed. And then you can go straight to bed. And then we'll see what Sunday has in store for them. Maybe we should actually see about investing in a computer. This way we don't have to go as far, you know. But I mean, it is still kind of like a single trailer. Although I don't think it's very... I think we probably should make it a little longer. Oh, Nikki's audition starts in an hour. Get up, girl. You gotta go to your audition. How is she doing? Okay, now she's doing pretty good. So let's have Kelly grab some food. And then... Oh, what did she earn from all of her records? Say nothing was $112. That's pretty freaking awesome. Have we gotten the mail yet? Oh, it's Sunday. We won't get the mail. That's kind of lame. But maybe we'll have her produce a new track again. Audition passed. Sweet. So what does she need to do? She needs to practice romance scenes, which I don't know if she can. She can practice a musical scene, but I don't think she can do a romantic scene yet. I mean, I know it's her sister, but I just wanted to check. No, she cannot. Um, so why don't you go ahead and practice your acting? Maybe we can get her up to level six, and so maybe then she can actually um, do the romance ones. Oh, and it's new skill day! So that means that they will actually earn their skills faster than any other day of the week. That is exciting. Um, and then we have, oh, the Starlight Accolades are tonight. So maybe we should see about taking Nikki to the Starlight Accolades. I doubt she'll win anything, but then she can kind of like mingle with people, um, kind of get to know some more people. And then maybe Kelly can start like getting to know some not so famous celebrities and she can kind of get her foot there in the door. Since apparently becoming famous is actually a lot harder than it used to be, especially in The Sims 3. I mean, I don't necessarily mean harder in terms of, like, The Sims 4 overall. I mean, in terms of The Sims 3, they, like, go outside, they talk to a celebrity, they're a one-star celebrity, and you're like, wait, what? What just happened? Sweet! So she has reached level 4 of the media production skill. Maybe we can remix it with some bass. Uh, some old school drums. And do some guitar and synth. Yeah, I don't think y'all can hear that. Because, like, it's not even going above, like, my ambient noise for my microphone, so I don't think y'all are going to hear it.
Oh, sweet. She can now perform an action scene. She can also act not bored to save themselves or save a boring conversation to save everyone from boredom. Boredom. All right, well, you guys just keep working on your skills here. And then we'll have you burn a track. Gnomester's Paradise. Hip-hop autonomous. And make it rain. Hashtag make it rain. She's like, just finished burning a new track. Guess who's excited? I want to just send it to new taste makers. All right, and then go ahead and release the track. All right, and it was released. We're going to go ahead and put this up in her bedroom. I hope you guys didn't just hear the planes that flew over my head. They were kind of loud, kind of obnoxious. Um, she might as well take a shower while she's here. Yeah, because I don't think she, she still can't do romance scenes. Oh, that's her sister. No, I was trying to click on her. Yeah, she can still do, she can only do musical scenes. Or maybe it was because it was her sister she couldn't do a romance scene. I mean, that's entirely possible. Um, but it's not like they actually gain any romance from it. Essentially, they're just supposed to be pretending, that kind of thing. Um, but we're gonna make her practice until, like, the cows come home, man. Alright, well, how about we actually have you guys go out to Orchid A Go Go? <gasps> I've totally forgot about the Starlight Accolades! Oh my god. Let's go there. I totally forgot about them, but I don't think they, uh. Um, let's see. There's our sister. I'm pretty sure the award ceremony is probably gonna be over. Oh, they're not too terribly late. Who is this? Holly Alto. Let's see if she can uh, kind of get to know her. Um, why don't you dance with Holly? Ask for a selfie and ask for an autograph. Oh, she can't get in. Sims only give 50%, but Brittany Cho gave 100%. 110% every day and will be deserving of the 110% Starlight Accolade Award. Go here. Oh, they won't allow her in. Bounce her interactions. Bribe to get inside. You no need to bribe. You have access to this door. Yeah, well, clearly she doesn't. Oh, there we go. She's finally allowed inside. Um, can her sister come inside now? That's the real question. Oh, perfect. Who is this? That's Dirk a Dreamer. There's no way she'll be able to talk to her. Octavia Moon. Dustin Broke. Holly Alto. Britanna Cho. And Shingo. Why don't you come talk to Shingo? Oh, that concludes tonight's awards ceremony. Well, crap. Uh, she can practice her routine. Common routines need to be written on the computer before they can be performed. Why don't you just get up and tell jokes? Uh, attempt an introduction. Be like, hey, you know my sister, don't you? Who are these people? Oh, there's no way I can introduce myself to her. I just want to meet, like, a low-level celebrity and, like, a one-star or two-star celebrity. Why is there nobody by that, like, skill set? <laughs> um, practice singing, practice acting. Do that.
All right, well, I think it's probably about time for them to head home. Um, I doubt they have anybody here we can actually, like, talk to in terms of, like, famous. Um, no, unfortunately, it doesn't look that way. Because there's definitely no way we can talk to a, a global superstar yet. Where is everyone else? I think, like, everybody's, like, trying to leave, I think is what it is. Well, let's go ahead and send Kelly home. This way, Kelly can go and get some sleep because she has uh, work tomorrow. Um, Nikki doesn't ha have to be at work until 7 p.m. tomorrow, so. She'll be good for a little while. Can you please continue practicing your acting? I was wondering where this went. Apparently, a whole lot of nowhere. New skill day was awesome! Nikki had a wonderful time, got to do everything she planned to. And so did Kelly. Oh, here's Caleb. Maybe we can do a romance scene with Caleb. Friendly. Um, or maybe... Maybe we have to know the Sims first, so... Oh, why don't you do a friendly... Oh, whoops, I swear I can do this. Friendly introduction. She's almost there. 97? Yes, she cannot perform a horror scene. I think that's the other option we can do. Or perform horror scene with another sim. I don't think, I think those are two scenes she can't perform by herself. So go ahead and stop that. At least then we can do a horror scene with someone. Oh, and Caleb's feeling a little flirty. Why don't we... I know there should be an option for it. Where is it? Why don't you do a cheerful introduction to Eliza Pancakes? Please do not sleep with Eliza Pancakes. Oh, there it is. Perform scene for tips. Ooh, a romance scene. There it is. No, stop it. You need to perform a scene for tips. Or maybe just practice the scene, I guess. A romance scene. Uh, seriously, you didn't even start it. Do a horror scene then. I don't care. Do something. Or do nothing. I mean, that's cool too. Why don't we just send her home? Um, so, so she can get some food, get some sleep, and then we'll just invite somebody over before she has to go to work. Before This way she can perform those scenes before she has to go. Apparently this episode's going to be a little bit of a long one because I kind of want to get through and get her romantic scenes done before we go to work before I end the episode. So go ahead and go to sleep. How are you feeling? Go to sleep. You're tired. Go to bed. This way we can also do super speed. Couldn't reach your mailbox, but I managed to throw the mail in there. Good luck getting it back out. Uh, she's going to go ahead and go to work. We'll do one of the, we'll do the work from home. Oh my God, get up. You have to go to work. Oh, she earned four hundred and sixty-two dollars from her uh, royalties. Kelly's off to work. You get up, get some leftovers, and take a shower. And then we're gonna invite someone over. Why don't we invite over Precious? Invite to hang out at the current lot. Yes, yes, yes. Uh. Do a fluff piece. Performance gain small and fun 15 plus. Nice. Kelly went the safe route and drafted a pleasing piece of clickbait that improves her work performance from increased reader traffic, but leaves her feeling a bit ashamed that her convictions are cheaper than an outlet fire sale. 
That's fair. And Precious will be right over. Alright, go outside. And give her a heartfelt compliment. And then perform a romance scene for tips. Why? Why don't you um, invite her inside to do it? Perform scene, romance scene. There we go. Finally, she's actually going to do a scene. Now, dang, if that a romantic scene, I don't know what is. Before you go anywhere. Oh, now she's feeling flirty. From a smooth delivery. From an acting scene. Alright, well, you need to do one more. Why don't you perform a horror scene? I don't think I've ever seen that one. So what happens? Because it's playing out the same way as a romance one. And... Oh! Turns it into a vampire thing. Interesting. Alright, there we go. Oh, and now she's angry. Why are you angry now? She's still feeling flirty. Alrighty, well, I think I'm going to wrap this part up right here, folks. Uh, definitely leave your feedback, comments, and suggestions all down below. Um, what is your favorite scene that you have seen so far of the action, horror, romance? Um, I think there's a couple other scenes as well. Which one is your favorite of all of the different scenes that they can perform for tips? Uh, definitely leave that down below. I love chatting with you guys. All my social media is in that description box in case you want to hit me up on Twitch, Twitter, or Facebook. And I do live streaming on Twitch three times a week. So I'd love if I would love it if you guys would go over there and uh, just say hi. Um, and give this video a big thumbs up if you like it. And don't forget to subscribe if you did like it. This way you can catch more videos just like this one. And thanks for watching, guys. Have a wonderful day. Bye.